Hello and welcome back to Tilted for Us the Moon. Hmm. And that's the moon. Uh, this is airlock. Our airlock, I believe. No, that's our airlock. Am I already lost? Yes. Will I try to orient myself against the floor? Sometimes. This one should be safe. Oh. The red one, the red one, the red one. There. Let's reboot it. Not enough power. Okay, so we need two canisters. Alright, that's not what I wanted to do, but... Leave it for now. I believe we can only carry one at a time. And no, I don't know if we have a third one. I assume we don't. Station power inside the control center in the lab wing. Orion. Okay, this is definitely not where we are supposed to be right now. I remember there was something over there. Maybe the door will now open. Oh, I guess not. Um.
it didn't allow it enough. Oh, let's see. We are right now in the central hub. Below us is another central hub. We need to find Libya Wing over here, but what I saw was Orion Wing. Okay. Mm, sleeping quarters and control center under. Oh, Orion Wing is under construction. That's interesting. By the way, will this open or is it. It's inaccessible. Okay. Makes sense. So we are right now in the central hub. Orion. Copy control, we're all set. Ready for descent. The MPT network is still down, so expect the lights to go out as you descend towards Copernicus. Thanks for the heads up, Pearson. Remember, Sarah, our oxygen here in the station is limited. After arriving, you'll have 40 minutes to find out what caused the blackout and bring our MPT network back online. If you're not back by then, we'll have to evacuate without you. We hear you, Control. Rolf, you ready? I am. And don't worry, Control. It's probably just a glitch. We'll be back before you know it. Let's find out how they've been holding up down there. Alex, commence descent protocol. All systems go. Descent in three, two, one. Descending gate. The Pearson Space Converter improved the logistics of getting people and supplies to and from the moon. When the 2054 blackout occurred, station crew members Sarah Baker and Rob Robertson were sent down the elevator to investigate the blackout on the moon's surface. Due to the station's emergency protocol, their time was extremely limited. I want to look around this place, but I don't think we'll find anything else. That's Pyxis. Yes, now we are in the central hub. And... Pyxis is 6, so we need to go all the way around. Oh, we're not going to Orion, god damn it. Hmm? What did I do? Oh, this opens and closes. Interesting. Um, we were supposed to get to the I have no idea. Um Libra. Wait, did I read read that wrong? Oh Libra. I don't know, f my brain read the P as X for some reason. That's why I read it the wrong way. Okay, makes sense. Um, sleeping quarters, no. Quarters. Oh. Those are bathrooms. Wait, maybe this is in the crew, crew quarters, but it's closed. Touch up your paint job later, don't worry. Are you ready to go? 
We've almost got the elevator running again. Yeah, just patching up Alex before we head down. Are you bringing that thing along? Of course. We'll need all the help we can get. Besides, you wouldn't have made it to that airlock if it hadn't been for him. <sighs> this MPT blackout can't be just a glitch, Rolf. Everything is still dark down there. Last time there was an outage. <sighs> did you hear the message from Earth? No. What did they say? They can't even send ships up here anymore without the MPT. It's crazy, right? We're the only ones able to investigate the blackout. Rolf, Sarah, we need to get you guys down to the surface ASAP. We don't have much time. <sighs> okay, let's go. Council member Levard, the MPT is still flying. What's going on? Backup power is finally running up here at the station, and we're repairing the person elevator to take us down to Copernicus Moon Hub to provide any assistance we might need to bring the MPT back online. We're coming. Please be safe. After the cryoslip generator in the Hugene's research facility malfunctioned in 2048, Maria's search for answers led her to investigate what remained of the machine. Unable to determine the exact cause of the malfunction, she sent this fragment to Pearson Space Station mechanic Rolf Robertson for assessment. Dear Mr. Robertson, I am one of the few survivors of the Hugene's cryosleep malfunction. I have recently come across a fragment recovered from the cryo generator and was hoping you could expect it. Also, is there any way I can get my ASE to project holographic data from that day? I I want to f I want to find out what really happened at Hugene's. Dear Miss Gonzalez. I've inspected the generator fragment you sent over, but I can't find anything conclusive. As for holographic data, it's unfortunately location-based. Holograms can only be projected where they occurred. If the Lunar Council ever clears access to Huygens again, I think the best thing to do is to bring your ASE and check the holographic data that's there. So it can't be... Can't get the data back. Uh, code again. You got two five nine. Uh, two five three nine. Thank you. Hello. Transmitter and receiver online connection to MPT network offline. Contact Moon Base. No connection with Moon Hub. Space level to the Moon Hub base offline. Additional energy required. Rotate station for additional power. Station rotation offline. Of course. Customer MacArthur, in the past few months, my team and I have encountered problems with construction material shipments. We were supposed to be finished with the Orion re Wing by now, but again, we've, we've missed our milestone due to shipments being repeatedly cancelled. When can we expect another council to approve further shipments? Sarah Baker. Engineer Baker, the Lunar Council has decided to shift resource priorities around because of new construction on the moon. For the time being, I recommend you make do with what you have. We all do down here. New construction? Is the Hygiene's facility finally being repaired? It's about time that place opened up again. There's too much knowledge buried there since the craft's malfunction. Suffice it to say that while the construction project is classified, it does not concern Hygiene's. Access to the huge research facility remains restricted order until further notice.
Oh, okay, so this is the Orion Ring. Blueprints. Oh, 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 that was a bit too fast. I have a space stick. Evacuation procedure. In case of an emergency, please pay attention to the following guidelines. Space station evac notice. Travel to Moon Hub. Full overt lockdown. We have plus uh, minus one hour before departure. Please leave your possessions behind. Moon Hub. Travel to space station. Sorry. Full elevated lockdown, you have plus minus one hour before departure. Please leave your possessions behind, make sure to wear a spacesuit. If both facilities are in emergency state, report to the station operator for evacuation instructions. Backside Pearson, Copernicus, Avera Evac Notice, WSA, World Space Agency. Uh, oh, it sure it doesn't look like there was an. There was a an evacuation. But two space suits are missing. That wasn't supposed to... Open this one? Maybe not. Oh. Decompression. I have no decompression. It wasn't that small. All of those? Okay, I don't know how is that those supposed to work? Oh. Okay, that way. So I just need to clear as many as I require. I suppose. I mean, nothing works, but... I think I can make it work.
Copy that. Do you think we'll finish construction anytime soon? Was the council claiming more supplies each week? I doubt it. I'm surprised we got this past MacArthur in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, I'm getting strange readings here from the lunar surface. Are you seeing anything? Just wrapping up. What the hell? All the lights are shutting down. Are you alright, Bob? What just happened? I can't see a thing. Everything is dark out here. We lost power from the MPT. The whole station is down. Can you find your way back to the airlock? Negative. I don't have a visual. Right. I'm sending Alex to block the airlock doors. Do you see him? I see his flashlight. Heading back to the airlock. What's going on? Everything on the surface is dark. Well, not now. What's your ETA? Ten seconds. Make it faster. Once the airlock seals, you'll be locked out. Alex is blocking the door for you, but he can't hold it much longer. Did he make it? Order request form. Order denied. Reminder, all construction material orders need the official lunar council's provision and approval before shipments are sent and delivered. Questions or complaints can be deposited at your WSA lead or sent to order at worldspaceagency.com. Signed by Councilmember William MacArthur. Though operational, the Pearson space station was never completed. Sarah and Rove oversaw construction of the final wing until the council member MacArthur suspended shipments of material, such as this panel, diverting all resources to a classified project on the moon. This is an emergency. By the way, I don't think it's a personal. Yes. Should be safe now. Is that water? <laughs> Storage. Life support. Yes, let's go for the life support systems first. to screw or something. Okay. Wait, what's that? What? Okay, I need to take four of you. So, whatever is being grown here, unfortunately, it will die.
40%. Yes, I know. Unfortunately, I need it. Something else entirely. as many as we need. I made it. Life support, energy supply, critical. I made it error earlier. Power fully redirected from life support to rotation engine. Access control sensor to activate engine. Life support failure. I think it was up here. Barely. I'm only looking for those canisters.
of that. We're gonna end this part here. So, thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon. Bye.